a little bit of a chance to rest. Now a first down throw. Lock. They set up the screen to LT. They hold him to only two there on the screen. It's second down. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. Welcome back now to Denver. It's Bronco football, and they also have the lead here as we get... And he's got room. And he's brought down. That one good for 13 and a Denver first down. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation when they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from, or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously, but at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. And he's going to get this inside the 30. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down. It will. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Time is starting to run out, really becoming a factor. We'll see if the defense can get the stop they need to get the ball back to the offense. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll be dropped at the 23 after a pickup of about four. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now, I could be in that huddle with that offensive line, and I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us, and let's go. Their time to shine. Now Lock Green with a catch left side. And he is into the end zone for a Denver touchdown. A.J. Green. His second touchdown of the afternoon, and the Broncos will extend their lead. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Sturgis out now to kick this one off. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. And now Oakland ready to take the field. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. It caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. Car now on first down. Eluding the pressure right. A right side catch by Crabtree. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Michael Crabtree, 62 yards. And the Raiders have cut it back to within a score. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high-percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. loose and the Raiders have it so they've accomplished half the mission Charles they get the onside kick they do need a touchdown here but they've got some time to do it 
in the excitement. There's no need to press. Plenty of time. They have the opportunity. Now they just need to execute and finalize things. Back to throw. Flush to his right. Crabtree has it. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Michael Crabtree with now two fourth quarter touchdowns. And the Raiders are an extra point away from taking the lead. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. 93. Here we go. But it's 34. Car to throw. And it is caught. They got the two points, and with it, they've taken the lead. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is taken near the 13. Then a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And Denver getting set to take the field. Last time they were out, they scored. Still trailing here, though, so some work to do. But it's okay in terms of mindset. Because they scored the last time, they're not quite as worried about being down on the scoreboard because now their confidence is a little bit higher. They feel like they've got something going, and they feel like they can attack again. And put and, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked up by the all-time interception king, Paul Krause. Well, what a turnaround. They exited the lockers with a nice lead, and now all of this, what's happened? So when you start to write your novel, you'll start out with, it was a tale of two halves, won't you? Well, hey, but I'm a bad writer. <laughs> I, I don't know exactly what happened, because sometimes teams can go in with a lead and get too comfortable, too relaxed, and a couple of things go wrong. Carlos Hyde, see you later. That all the way in. Touchdown, Oakland. Carlos Hyde, 45 yards. And the forced turnover on defense leads to six points. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. to throw, Carr. And look at this, they get the turnover they needed, it's intercepted. Picked off by the free safety, Eric Berry. And a short return to the six yard line. Set now to kick this one away and off it goes. This one fielded at the five. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. So the Broncos coming out now. They're down here in a one-score game. But the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through play sequences. And this is what they work on every week in practice, usually on a Friday. They go over this type of a situation, late game situation. What are we going to do when we have the opportunity? They've called these plays a bunch of times. Now's their chance to execute them. Yeah, they have the opportunity now. Here's the execution. Halfback sent in motion. He's back to throw. Bryant with a catch right side. And he's brought down, but not before getting across midfield to the 45. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Now you're right on the edge of field goal range. You still got time, but get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. Back to throw. Throwing right side, that's complete to Marius Thomas. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. throw steps away to his left and some room to maneuver and he slides to avoid the hit he'll get eight on the scramble there it'll be second and a couple now luck says let's get going as he'll hustle him to the line 
They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. They'll look to throw. And this will be caught. Touchdown. So in the final minute here now, a two-point conversion will tie the game. So they got the touchdown they needed to cut this to two, but now they've got to get back to the huddle. No celebration time. Got to figure out what they're going to do on the two-point conversion. The late touchdown was only half the battle. Now they need the two-point conversion to tie the ball game. Now it's Luck. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by Derek Johnson. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So 20 seconds remain. It'll come down to this. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% <laughs> of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. The Raiders likely going to get out of this with a victory as they take a knee. Well, I know at points in this when you wanted to close your eyes because of all the points that were being put on the scoreboard, you're a defensive guy, but it was a fun little track meet, wasn't it? It was, and you know the people who really enjoyed this game? They're the ones that like going to batting practice at the Major League Baseball <laughs> parks, right? Seeing the 14 to 11 game, that sort of deal, that's right up their alley with what we saw in this one. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. This has been Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Join the discussion on Twitter at EA Sports underscore M-U-T. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon, everyone, as we say so long from Denver.